Hello guys, my name is Alex and uh, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'll be teaching you how to do the dispersion effect like you can see here. Um, this is one of the most popular effects um, that are circling around YouTube uh, this time of year. Um, so um, yeah, let's get to it I'd say. So um, I'm going to use a uh, image that has been pre-cut pre here. Um, so this one, oh no. Uh, now you can't see it here, but wait a minute. I'll show you guys. Um, so, what you need to do is create a new document. So, you choose File, New, then uh, the name doesn't really matter. Uh, my standard um, sizes are um, 1280 pixels wide with a height of 720 pixels. And, uh, well, for the rest, it's, it's pretty much. The, the the standard um, values and, uh, and choices you have to make. So you just click OK. Then you have this. Uh, you have to double click the background layer. So double click it. Just click OK. And as you notice, um, the the lock uh, thing here has disappeared. So now we can pretty much do whatever we want with this layer. Um, to invert the color, since I'll be using a back, uh, black background um, color, you can simply um, so select the layer and uh, click Ctrl I. Voila. What you can do as well, um, I think it's on a Mac, it would be uh, Command I, uh, or you can just paint in the whole entire layer with black. But Ctrl I makes it uh, a hell of a lot easier. So now I'm going to select my, my picture. Um, so give me a second. Um, I need to delete the masks. Delete this layer. Um, and delete this mask. Voila. Okay. So to select the picture from another um, canvas, you just click on layer. Use the move tool with V. Just click V on your on your keyboard uh, or select it here. So with that selected, you just click and drag. So you can do with him whatever you want. Click and drag and paste it here. That's it. So we don't need this one anymore. So well, these are exactly the same copies right now. But well, it's just to teach you guys how to do it. So there are no misunderstandings between us. Um, or how do you pronounce it in English? I, in English, I don't know, sorry. So, we have our model. By the way, this is uh, one of my friends. It's DJ Max, as he, as he goes by his um, artist name. He's um, a DJ, obviously, um, in Belgium. He's getting uh, getting up there. He's uh, doing his be trying his best. Um, and, well, keep an eye out for him, I'd say. So, um, if you're watching DJ Max, thank you for uh, letting me use your body for this. <laughs> Alright, so let's do it. To make the dispersion effect like you've uh, seen in the beginning of this video, just the first thing that you need to do is um, select the layer and copy it. How do you do that? Well, select the layer and click Ctrl J to copy it. So, to see, one, two. Now that we have a copy, you have to select the copy, click Filter and liquefy it. Liquify. So don't don't do not mind the shadows here. Um, that has to be one of my things that I've been doing to it uh, lately. But it doesn't matter now since you wanted to disperse this way. So what you need to do is just select a big brush like mine right now. How do you do that? Well, here it does not have to be the exact same size. It's just as bigger as a um, as bigger as he gets as, uh, as better for this. So just click and drag and get funky. God. I'm glad he doesn't look like this in real life. <laughs> okay, just click and drag, click and drag. You can actually be quite generous with uh, clicking and dragging here. Okay. I think that should pretty much cover it. Just click OK. And there you have it. The funky version of DJ Max. <laughs> so, we need to mask everything first. So, just um, 
hide this one uh, for now so you can see him in his full glory so uh, select the layer and click on this little icon here which says add layer mask if you hover ab um, above it so click it and there you have a mask do the same thing with the other layer click it and there you have a mask so what we need to do now is uh, well first I'll, I'll just cover this one uh, I know there's a shortcut for this bar but um, well I'm just gonna paint it in to make it easier so na -na 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 -na. there you go so the mask should be about you can see it change see yeah so the mask is all black on this one and all white on this one I know you can change it white black with the um, with the shortcut but I'm kinda of forgot how to do that okay but no matter um, the result will be the same we have to make him disappear a bit first on these sides. So how do we do that? We select the uh, the original layer, and we are going to paint in with black as our foreground color. Black you can you can see here. You can change to it uh, the, the black and whites by clicking this switch button. Switch button. Okay. So we need black here as our foreground color. What that does? Uh, well, if you click it, you can't see him anymore. You, what you would see would be the um, the other layer that's actually wait yeah uh, beneath it right now so we do not want that um, by the way if you made an error in Photoshop just click uh, Control Alt Z or Z Z whatever and there you have it oh, I switched it again okay so we're going to make him disappear a little bit how to do that well I have downloaded um, a set of brushes, like splatter brushes or, or plain, uh, paint splatter brushes. God damn, my tongue is not uh, informed today. <laughs> okay, so um, I have about four, yeah, four of them. I'll um, give you a download link in the description to um, so you can download them uh, for yourselves. So um, I'm going to select this one. To begin, so uh, as you'll notice, it's two two thousand five hundred pixels um, large. That's why you can't see it. Now you can see. Way too big. Um, so just scale it down at about three hundred, something like that. Yeah, should be good. Um, just click on this one so we can see the brush panel. It's always convenient to have this. Uh, ready at hand. Um, so then with the layers mask selected, not the layer but the layer mask selected, you just start coloring him from the sides. Okay, not too much. Um, so as you can already see here we're getting a pattern. You can see here, here, here that well it just looks the same. It's not looking as professionally as we would have it. So, there's a hell of a lot of things you can do. You can uh, alter the brush um, with all these things, but I'm not going to make it too complicated today. So, we're just going to do it by turning it around. That makes it look already a lot differently. Okay. I do not want to mess too much with this, with his head. Okay. Something like that. Then... I'm going to choose another brush to add some variety to it. No, it's too big. Yeah. Just turn it around. See what it gets. You. Oh yeah. No, no, no. It's not good. Uh, maybe like that. Nah. Then just you can change the size to make it a little bit more. Okay, like this. Maybe a little bit more in the hair. I like it to get funky in the hair. Uh, okay. Yeah, that will be it for now. So what you do next is um, just click on the other mask from the or other our other layer um, and paint it in with white. 
So pick white as your foreground color. Um, pick a brush that will easily do it. My favorite actually is uh, this one, I think it was. Yeah, this one. Um, so, yeah. Ta-da! You can just... You're actually just coloring him in again. That looks actually pretty nice already. Mm. But you have to make sure it, it, it doesn't... You don't overkill it. That's what I mean. So, something like that, maybe? Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Um, no. No. Well, I, th I really think that would cover it, actually, for now. Maybe just a little bit here. Yeah. too much. <laughs> okay. So, this is not my best uh, result, nor my best dispersion effect, but um, I think you guys get it. I think you guys see how it works now. You can alter it all, um, all around, everything you want to, to change or add or play with. You can now. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have any requests uh, regarding effects or uh, text effects, uh, how to make brushes, how to play with uh, with these layer masks, how to alter blending options, uh, all sorts of stuff like that, um, just uh, comment on the section below and um, yeah, I'll hear from you guys soon. So thank you guys for, for watching and uh, see you guys next time. Bye. Take care.